guys, I'm just going to show you how to use this thing called an AP uh, div tag. So we've been using div tags, uh, and as you discovered yesterday when I kind of did that little project which um, broke your brains, um, they are a little bit tricky to lay out. Uh, you know, you've got to say where they go and their margins and all that kind of stuff. So what these um, AP div tags are, they're called at absolute position. So wherever you put them, that's the position they'll stay. And they're not affected by anything else. So if you put content next to it, it's not going to push them out of the way. They're going to be exactly where they are. So that little kind of practice um, exam that I gave you yesterday where you actually have to create your own uh, div fields, which, like we said, 99.99% .99 that you won't have to do that on the exam. Um, but there's a point one. Uh, you had to create those and it was a bit tricky. And we, we wasted a lot of time, I guess, trying to get those div tags to line up. So that's why you can use something like an AP div to do that for you because if you look at the exam or this practice exam, the markings are all down mostly to your CSS stuff and, and you know that. So the actual kind of creation of the page is not hugely important. So we want to do that as quick as possible uh, for the sake of the exam and hence these, these AP div tags. So I'm going to basically make this website here really, really quickly. So let's just start some new uh, HTML um, and off we go. And I'm just going to go into the design view here. Uh, I will zoom out a touch, All right, and you can see there's our kind of our page over there. Uh, I've got a grid set up, so if you go into your view, into your grid here, you can show your grid and you can snap to grid as well. It just, I don't know, I just like it, it's easy to kind of make those boxes and, and snap them across. So really quickly, let's go. So you want to insert uh, an APD, there it is there. And when you get that, it'll make a little box for you automatically up in the top left. And you just drag this to where you want it to go. And you can go in here and you can change. So sometimes I find it's a bit tricky to change the um, margins. They, they're a little bit fiddly to, there we go, to get that, to get those arrows to come up. Um, so I just kind of persevere with that. So let's just go back and have a look. All right, we've got to have, well, I'm just going to do this one here for now. Uh, we've got to have a Wicked FM, Home, About. And so we've basically got one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five divs. All right, so there's one there. Um, let's do another one. So you can copy and paste these, but it's just easier to keep um, making more. Again, it plonks up there automatically. Put it down here. Change that. So that's going to be my home. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll copy and paste one just to show you. So if I copy and paste, it'll actually put it directly above it. And if I move that, or it won't. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Copy. And if it worked that time. There we go. So you can see it worked there. Um, so sometimes I find, yeah, using the commands like con con uh, in con control C and control V um, don't don't work sometimes. But anyway, so I've got that there. So I've just got this snapping. So you can see how it's snapping to those to those grids. Uh, I'm going to move that there. And then finally, of course, if we go back and have a look at this, you've got those two big, those two big ones there. So insert um, layout object AP div. And there's a big one there. And again, move it down, change the margins, and you can go back and um, change the sizes of these as well. So that's that's easy to do, but for now I'm just going to do this as quick as I can. All right, and there we go there, and there's kind of a, a rough layout with our AP divs. Uh, and now it's about uh, adding your content. Um, what I like to do is, there's our div there, so the easiest way I think is, I'm sure if we split that, so if we select that div, you'll see it highlight there. Um, I like to just go in here and insert image, find what you want. So we're going to have, actually, which was it, the, the about button? It was the home button first. Uh, find the home button and open that. Yeah, 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 sure, 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 sure. Boom. And you can see it puts it in there and it inserts it into the code. So I, I just like doing it that way because I know it's direct. I know it's going straight into that div. Uh, and there's your image. And then you can go back and easily resize this, okay? and it resizes it for you on the fly. So really easy. So if we want to actually make that a little bit bigger, we can just make that div a bit bigger. We can go back in there. We can make that a bit bigger. And there's a home button. Um, and you can clean these up, move it around a bit, and off you go. Uh, same with this one here. So we want to put in the about button. So I'm there, okay. Insert image, sorry, don't need those sound effects. And the about, put it in there. Yep, yep, sure. And there it is there. And ooh, it's a little corrupted on my, um, ooh, ignore the, try, I might just delete that, um, insert image, I think that actually just might be my computer, so there we go, it's working a bit better now, um, 
There we go. And we want to get it the same size. So we can see this about us image uh, so that the home image has a bit of white above it, whereas this about image uh, doesn't. So we need to actually um, change that and make that a little bit bigger. And then change that. So we want to get that about the same size. I'm just eyeing this. Um, there we go. And then we'll just fix this little div up here and move that down a little bit. Now you can see it's not moving down for me because it's, I've got that snap on. So let's go to view and grid and snap to grid for now. And then we can kind of whoops, grab that and just kind of move that. You can use the keys as well uh, and get that exactly where you want it. So finally, let's put this image in. So back into my code. There it is there. And we want to, it's, uh, you're getting the picture. Yeah, it's really, really easy to lay out your web page. Um, bam, PNG. There it is. Make that bigger. And see, oh, you see, notice that? So, what I've got there, if I actually make the image bigger, then the div tag that I've got automatically resizes. So, that's Coolio's, and that'll save you a bit of time. And finally, let's insert those two main images. So, insert image, and that was. That was intro, but you can see we can't have a tiff here, so I made one earlier. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and there we go there, and clearly that's huge. So I'm going to zoom out and just resize that image. Again, a little bit tricky there, Debbie. Okay, resize that image, and there we go. And there is your website. Finally, we can just kind of get that. Uh, obviously, in the exam, in the exam, make sure that you do. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit so I can actually see what I'm doing. And there, yeah. uh, make sure this image is the right size. So you can see I've got you know 407 by 593. But if we have a look at the exam, it will tell you exactly what it wants. So do what it says. So 500 by 585. Um, and I can go back in and do 500 by five. Oops, 585. Sorted. And there it is, exactly how they want it. And um, now you're happy. And then second one here, we can change that. You can, whoops. You can change it here as well if you want to. So, that. So, yeah, it can get a little bit frustrating in terms of the um, selection of these borders here. So, just kind of be patient. Don't, you know, explode. And then we can put. Um, text and off we go and you're done so that's your website now if I preview that give you in Safari yeah sure I'll save it um, blah 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 ah, that was what I did earlier there it is perfect so saved a stack of time putting that together and now you can concentrate on doing everything else I'm concentrating on doing the CSS because there is the website exactly like um, like our style guide uh, so that's all they want um, so we'll go back and that's it. And then, of course, you can go back in and you know how to do this. You can right click and you can make your link. So you can make that a link and make a new web page and da 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 da. So, well, I might as well finish it. Um, so let's file, save as, and we'll do about. Yeah. And there's our about page. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. And if we have a look at our about page, pretty much the same, except it's got one big div in the center. So we can. If we want to, we can just delete these ones, let's get, kill that one, get this one, move it to the center like it wants there. Everyone's happy. I'm just going to get rid of that text because I don't need it. And then select that div, go into the center there, and insert media. We want to ensure to shut away fresh file that's what it wants there. Uh, I made one, I hope it's still there. Yep, good ball. Insert that. Yeah, let's do that for now. And it should go. A little bit of thinking. And there it is there, fitting in to that box. So you can see that the actual flash is in the dimension that it originally was, and it's fitting in that div, so it's resized, so it fits in there. And we are finished. Oh, oh well, we can go back and do our links. So, you know, let's link that. And we will make a link. And we'll make that link go to, I think I called it Untitled One. We'll save that. And we'll make this link go link, and that's going to go to the about page, okay, and then we're going to go to our page here, 
and we'll make that. Oh crap! Now I can't remember which one's home. Uh, okay, so that's the about us. So make that link. Make the link. That's going to go to the about. Done. And we'll just link this. Not that it'll matter because it's a home page. We'll just link this back to the other one. And we're done. And let's preview that. So preview that in Safari. Yep, sure. And there's uh, again, there's our web page sorted. Um, and again, it's exactly because it's absolute position. You can see that the web page is exactly where we positioned it on our board there. Um, so let's open up Safari again. And there we go. If I go to about us, oops. If I go to ah, oh, broken it. I've linked it wrong. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. So look, it'll save you a stack of time doing that for the exam. Okay, so you don't have much time, clearly you've only got the two hours and you probably want to spend an hour, hour 20 on the prac. So the quicker we can do this, the better. And this will, this will do that for you because they want you to concentrate on the CSS, not on, on this on this jazz. And again, like I said, 99.9% chance that you probably have to do this. But there it is, super quick way to do it. So that's it, bon jovi.